Hello and welcome. Good morning. <laughs> we invite you to join us on, on our holiday. <laughs> We're on holiday. Yay! Got my new shirt on, my new hat on. Maz has got a new dress on, looking beautiful. Oh, thanks, babe. Yep, we've arrived a few we hours ago. Arrived. So this is the <laughs> Caravan and Motorhome Club Leicestershire branch, who have arranged this. It's a rally. Rally. Yes. Yes. And we have got the best pitch ever. Ever. And ever. there's actually quite a lot of people here today, isn't there? It is rammed, yeah. <laughs> um, only opened at nine o'clock this morning, here for yes. two weeks. It's nearly full. And it seems pretty full, doesn't it? Yeah. Now this is our pitch. Check out our pitch. We've got the best pitch. <laughs> so we've got a little hedge there, we're against that. We have got all this up to here. And there's not going to be anybody here until next week. So, Mazzy, we've got the biggest pitch in the world. We can make plans of building the swimming pool anytime soon, then, can't we? We can <laughs> build a swimming pool if you like. Yes, yeah, so we're all set up. Uh, what we've been doing, uh, the blind. Oh, the blind, go on yeah, then. Yeah, uh, Dan sort of fixed the blind, but what I did today is trimmed them off and put a load of five peas on each end of the ends. How many five pences did you use, Mazzy? Oh, 27 five peas. Um, I don't know how much that is in money. That's, <laughs> uh, ooh, I think it's £1.35 you owe me. Hey. That was my money. It's just the way it down to stop blowing. Preferably a two-pea would have been better, but they would have been too big. So two, anyway, we've been doing that. would have been that. a lot better, Look, a lot what, cheaper. Can I just show them what Dan found you there? You know, 54 pence. Dan found me. Into if it were two pences, it'd only be fifty-four. Look. Yeah, I found a pine, pine cone. That is the most amazing. He actually thought it was a hedgehog. That's why he went. Yes, he went the over there. Yeah. I thought it was a hedgehog, so I went to check it out. It was just over here. I'm keeping this forever. Um, because we've got big pine trees here. Beautiful. So I just found that down there, and I thought it was a hedgehog. That's the biggest pine cone I've ever seen in my life. Right, let's, well, let's just go back to yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Can't remember the the campsite we stayed on. No, can't remember what that was called. But as we were going in, we got collared. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get the phone out. They'll Love laugh at this family. because I'm rubbish with names. I did take a note of the name. So it was Matt, Anita, and Grant. And Grant, yeah. Um, they <laughs> have a YouTube family. channel, and they gave us a sticker. Where are they? Alive from 45, check out their YouTube channel. I think they've only got about, what, 300 subscribers at the moment? Yeah. And it's van life, uh, van building, van yeah. converting. Pretty yeah. good channel, so go check them out. Lovely couple and son. Oh, yeah, Grant, and Grant. was his son, and what a lovely young man. So, well, they, they all were, sorry, but Grant was really lovely, yeah. So we had a good chat with them <laughs> last night. Yeah. Um, didn't film there at all. Got here no. by half nine this morning. Yep, we were just doing a day stop over there last night to get ready for this. But can I take them inside and show them all our welcome gifts that we got today? Oh yeah, go on then. Yeah, come on then, quick. Welcome <laughs> gifts, eh? So we're all set up for the fortnight. Yeah. You know, it, it, don't it feel nice when you know you're in one place for such a long time? You can just sit up home. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, Doesn't yeah. it feel yeah, nice? It feels lovely, Mother. Yeah. Feels right, lovely. so today, what did we get? As a welcome gift, we got another one of those. Leicestershire Centre, Hendra Holiday Park, Newquay, July 2022. Yep, so that's going on our garage door. Yep. We're along with others that I have to stick in a minute. Yeah. Now we've got a couple of glasses. Rattler. Rattler Cider from Cornwall. Made the Cornish way. Yeah. And an Ugg mug, Ugg mug. Healy Cornish Cider Farm. Proper mug. Brilliant. Yeah. Completely so, free, they just give us that as we came Yeah, in. that was such a lovely gift, you know, welcoming gift. Mm. I like that. Mm. So my next uh, project is just quickly stick those on and we're actually going to go and take a walk down and see what's there. Um, What's about? Yeah, because we haven't got a map or anything. No map, nothing. No, no we've we, got we an got idea passes. of what's up there. From online, we've got an idea of what's up there, yeah. but we don't know for sure until we'll get there. So come on then, outside, get them stuck. Yeah, let's get these stuck. So as latest additions... Yeah, it's um, obviously the Leicestershire Centre one. Hendra where we Park. are now. Yeah. This is the last rally was we were on at Clare Priory. Yeah. We have got Tommy, 
this is my nephew if anyone would like to go over and subscribe it's a child's channel so just bear that in mind um, and Scoots and Soul, a lovely couple that we met quite recently. Yeah, it's Northern Soul what they do. Pretty yes. cool stuff. Yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, yeah. So yeah, we've got all them on, that's fantastic. We just need quite a few more really, don't we? Mm. Yeah, we need to meet more, <laughs> meet more of you. Right, let's get this locked up, let's get out. <laughs> we are now going to check out the park and see what's available. How pretty. Got some wild flowers in there, it looks really nice. So we've just been and checked out where the where we empty his toilets and the showers and things. Looks perfectly fine, Very doesn't it? Very nice. Looks yeah. quite new actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very clean, so I'm gonna be having a shower over there tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. We are quite a long way from the showers. Well not really. No, but we're at the far end of the field. We have to yeah. walk to this side, but Hey, for the pitch we've got, we're not bothered. We, I feel like we've got the best pitch. I do. <laughs> well out of the way. Um, so it's like one, two, nearly three fields full. Yeah. Of, just of people on this rally. There's a lot of us. Check out the beautiful hydrangeas. We've come at the perfect time of year for all the flowers and things, haven't we? Yeah. It's so beautiful. They're on both sides actually, aren't they? Even nicer when these are all in flower as well. They're just starting to come out. So if you're not actually coming on a uh, rally, this is where you'd all be. This is your, well I'm assuming so, yeah. There's loads and loads of statics here, which we were just saying actually, were well maintained. Immaculate. They all look brand new. Yeah, the whole place is well maintained. Really well looked after, yeah. Right, okay, so we're coming down to, which was what, not even a four minute walk to the front? Well, it said nine minutes on the, on the thing. To the swimming pool, you said, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's something we've been told about is this land train and actually we've seen it. So is this the timetable, I'm guessing? Well, I don't know. I'm not as impressed as I was. Why? Because the land train, it seems as it only, it only goes at nine o'clock every morning. Yeah, that's probably when we saw it this morning, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Which isn't really much good for us, is it? Unless we get up really So early. there's only one train that's what to I'm town? Thinking, yeah. Free to ride, queue up at the train stop. Oh, okay. Know. Well, yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> I'm sure we can get a taxi. We have to. Yeah. It was... Well, we're actually looking for some leaflets and stuff this morning. A map of some sort, aren't we? Some information. We've no idea where anything is. <laughs> no. Oh, there's a lovely fountain. <laughs> oh, let's go and have a look. Oh, that's a lovely roundabout. <laughs> oh, that's special. Palm trees. Flowers are beautiful. Are you loud on there, darling? Here, do you want to take it? I feel a bit awkward. Stunning. That is lovely. It's got even says Hendra on the thing there. How beautiful. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble. The funny thing is. What I tend to find is the best gardens, you never actually see the gardeners. It's just always perfect. Probably maintained by like pixies or Overnight, something. yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh look, you've got an outdoor um, exercise area. Oh, Are you feeling fit? Yes. Are you feeling fit, honey? Exercise area. <laughs> now, I don't know if anyone's ever seen me doing this kind of thing before, but I have and I'm brilliant at it. Oh yeah, Mazzy. It's nice it's in the shade, because when you're working out, you don't want to be in that sun, yeah. do you? <laughs> I can do that all day long. <laughs> Just the movements. How big is it? It's, it's a decent size. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Give you a game of basketball this week, Mazzy. They've got basketball in corner. Okay. Competition. No, you cheat. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this. So we just come up the steps from the um oh they've got a play amusements area there as well. play loft play loft kids thing yeah what else have we got so you've got like this big marquee for an outdoor uh beer garden bar, bar. 
We've got loads of shops going on down here. Well, it says here you've got pizzeria and bar, takeaway, marketplace. Oh, that's the shop, oh, isn't yeah. it? What's Beachfield? Beachfield is probably just a. I don't know. I don't know. This is alright, isn't it? I like it. It's a bit early at the moment, nothing's open. That's the problem. Yeah. Like the bar and the restaurants and stuff. But the, I think one of them is actually open, isn't it? For breakfast. Uh, I don't know. You were looking into it, weren't you? Food orders, fish and chips. This is the shop. Let's go check the shop out. Cream uh, tea. Cream tea. Garnish cream tea, is it? Two scones, two jams, and a clotted cream. It's massive in here. Yeah. Whistling bomb. How does that whistle? How does it even go? I'm guessing you just throw it and it's going to make a. Oh, that's so good. It's going to make a strange noise. Oh, there's the whistles, look. That's the whistles, so when it goes through the wind, it's going to whistle. <laughs> need to go a bit faster than that. <laughs> Impressed? Yeah, very nice shot. They have everything we need in there. Yeah, the ladies in there are lovely. <laughs> Okay. They just said, where's the favourite? We'll tell them. She were asking what the camera was and everything. She says, where's the best place you've ever been? I says, here, of course. <laughs> and then she said, Scotland. <laughs> and then I changed my mind and said, Paul Perro. <laughs> right, what else has this place got to offer? Really good uh, play area up there for the kids. Yeah, it's really good, actually. And for the older kids... Yeah, I'll have to come in here, Mazzy, with my skateboard. Your new skateboard in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see that. This Not. is the perfect place for it, isn't it? No. Of course it is. You look, what's this called again? Oh, table tennis. No, it's not. It is table tennis. It's called ping pong. Ping pong? Table tennis? No, table tennis is done on a table. This, this isn't... is a table? No, that's not a table. It's an outdoor... You're winding ping... me up. It's a ping pong board. What? If you want a game of ping pong, you can play it here, just next to the skateboard uh, park. Is he table tennis? No, they haven't got table tennis let here, Mazzy. Let me know in the uh, comments, is he winding me up? Table tennis has a net. This doesn't have a net. Yeah, but this is like your... Got a board look. That's ping pong. Oh, I'm getting bored of you. <laughs> no, it's really good here, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I do like that. I will be testing that out with my skateboard this week. Definitely. Just wanted to quickly just take you into the um, the younger children's park. Look at the size of this, like, this all looks brand new and it all goes up at the back there. But what took our eye is that, got a climbing wall. That's like a little touch, isn't it? That's so good. You've got bark all down, so that's all safe. Yeah, loving that. Right, okay, so we're at the train station. The train stop for the land a train. And just after reading this, yeah, it is only nine o'clock. Well, I'm not That's sure. A silly, silly, uh, silly time. time, yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to ever make that, are we? Yeah, what, <sighs> who's, who's up ready with all the kids ready at nine o'clock yeah, in the morning? Yeah. That's a bit early, I think. But uh, well, it mind. is free. Make sure you've got your pass with you, though. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder what the coming back time is. I wonder if there's only one time to come back as well. Don't know if there is one. No, they've got to bring you back. We, we need leaflets, don't we? There must be somewhere where we can pick up a ton of leaflets all about New Key and our holiday. So, yeah, well, going back to this train, though, if, like, let's say there is only one time coming back, I feel quite restricted for that. I don't like that. I like to get home when I want to get home, if you know what I mean. I am like that, though, ain't oh, I? Oh, you are like that, yeah. You're very picky. Very picky. <laughs> I'm not picky. Very, very picky. Oh, the taxi it is. Nice looking toilets. Yeah, they're yeah, really nice. I'm just reading the timeline of the holiday park. Oh, it's okay. 50 years old today, uh, this uh, year. Who is it? I'm just looking at this, don't like this look right 70s? Well, it's not. Oh, it is the 70s. <laughs> just before I was born. I'm 27, yeah. by the way, if anyone is trying to work it out. Uh, so this was it in 1972, and it says here, um, it was open, it was the largest touring park in Europe with over a thousand pitches wow. and an outdoor pool. That's incredible, isn't Gosh, it? Gosh, yeah. And now it is uh, 50 years old today, uh, this, this year. year. 
What? For a quite privilege we come on their 50th anniversary then, don't you? Birthday. Call it a birthday. It's older than me. Not quite. Is it? Hang on a minute. Well. Oh yeah, that is 50 years, isn't it? So if that's 50 years and I was born in 1973, how come I'm only 48? So you are older than you're telling me. I'm not 49 yet, am I? I'm not 50 next. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I think I'm 48. Are you 50? Not yet. You might be. So you've got more amusements in there. Yeah, so that's when, when the adults are in here doing all that, their night time entertainment. Shove the kids in there, innit? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, okay. And this is where the nighttime entertainment is in here. That's just it's a big room, innit? Very nice. Yeah, look at that. We've got three massive bars going along along there as well. I'll tell you what, I've looked at the entertainment, what's on here. Oh, yeah, it looks good. You know, it's all kid things until nine o'clock, but they've got some cracking things after that. It's like. Um, Ventriloqu ventriloquist one night, magician. The comedian. Comedian is yeah. on tonight. Oh. Nine o'clock. Should we try and come? The, the problem is with any of these places is if you don't come early, you don't get a seat. Yeah. I found that on every single holiday park. And because we wouldn't be here for the kids bit, we probably wouldn't get a seat. And are we really going to wait around till nine o'clock to find out? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry we'll see. Right. We've got two weeks because we're on holiday. A wishing well. Yeah. All donations will go to our chosen uh, charity. Oh, well, that's nice. Lovely. It is beautiful here. You really feel like you're on holiday. Don't oh, yeah. You? I'm on holiday. So here's the entertainment I was talking about. Got a singer on, live band, music performer, comedian. I saw other things. Where are we? All right, so it's nine o'clock you're looking for. Rocket Man Live, is that something to do with Elton John? I don't know. Vocalist, comedian, wizardry and escapologist, brilliant. Ventriloquist, illusionist, really good things. I bet they'd be really interesting to see them. Holidays, got to love them, haven't you? So we've just stopped in the bar. Yeah, we found one that's open. So there is actually two bars. Well, there's quite a few little bars around, isn't there? I'm having tribute Cornish pale ale. Price is bad though, it's like nine pounds for a round. Yeah, that's that's your price as your large. Four thirty-five for mine, four fifty-five for Maz's. I think what we've decided is we're gonna try this place twice. We're gonna come for a breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna try the Endra Big Breakfast. Yeah. That's quite a good price, isn't it, for a full breakfast? Yeah. See, I'm not a breakfasty person, but I know you want to experience it. Yeah. So I'll probably just get a couple of slices of toast or a breakfast bap. Yeah, breakfast baps, they um, look all right. And then we'll come... For dinner. Maybe we'll do all three then. Yeah. You know, well, we're here for a fortnight, aren't we? Yeah. The lunch menu, you see, doesn't have much on it at all. It's just like paninis. Yeah. So I'd probably have tuna melt panini or ham and cheese and piccalilli panini. And there's... Plenty there for me. Plenty for Mazzy. Yeah. Evening. This don't start till three, you see. So yeah. 12 till three, which is the time we'd normally come out for something to eat. There ain't much there. So yeah. at three o'clock... Uh, some nice salads from Mazzy. Yep, they look really nice. Um, There's burgers. It's not a massive menu, I'm going to be it's honest. It's not massive, it's no. Not, um, There's burgers and lasagnas and curry. ham, egg and chips, curry. Yeah. There's enough. There's yeah, enough. Yeah, there's plenty. And the prices are reasonable, let's be real. It's just normal price, isn't it? Yeah, it's not yeah. bad at all, really. Yeah. Especially the breakfast at six ninety five. that's a good price. So we're in the bar. The um, swimming pool is over there. We're not filming Straight it, obviously. Opposite. Yeah. And that's got a bar over there as well. So we'll and be spending yeah. a day there, won't we? Yeah, it's like a little pool shack with grub and everything. But I want to get my swimming costume on and go and spend some time in the swimming pool one day. Hopefully tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Well, Especially that'll be a camera-free afternoon when we're yeah, doing absolutely, that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But it looks yeah. amazing over there with That's the farm trees and everything. It's a shame we can't show you, but obviously, you know, yeah. 
that. It's <laughs> lovely. Just trust us on that one. Yeah, it's amazing. Are you enjoying your holiday? Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. So we've done this little walk around the holiday park and we're impressed, aren't we? Very impressed. Very happy. Looking forward to the next full tonight here. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we're going back now to make a barbecue. Yay. It's still really early. It's, it, it feels weird. We arrived here at like half past nine this morning. It's probably yeah. only about two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we really feel like we've been here quite a long time now. So yeah, let's go back, make a barbie, put all that meat on, what I bought. Some of it, it's been split up. You but... can have some salad. I'm looking forward Potatoes. to the barbecue, yeah. The meals there, actually, we did see some other people getting meals and they did look nice. Oh, the paninis looked amazing. Yeah, the, the meal dish itself was massive. It's enough to feed you, <laughs> to fill you up, that's for sure. All day, yeah. So we're going to be doing that, definitely. Just didn't want to today anyway, no. so... No, today it's all about me cooking you a beautiful banquet fit for a queen. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> It's barbecue time. It's barbecue time. Let's show you what we've got. Oh, just take the lid off there. It's always quite awkward, this lid. Right. So, Mazzy will only let me have so much food at the moment for some reason. That's Mazzy's, a sweet corn. She's having a steak. She won't have it on this mat because she doesn't like the black bits which it puts on. I'm having three sausages, one peppered steak, and one doner kebab, like deluxe, the best in the world kebab. Honey, you want your carnation sauce that came with that? I want the sauce on, well, I want half of it. No, but I've done a saucepan of peppercorn sauce. I still want what goes with that doner kebab because it were gourmet, Mazzy. It's got to be better than anything you can do. Peppercorn sauce, you can't be. Oh no, I'm all like cling film. Oh, On no. top of that, uh, there's going to be potato salad. Maz is having salad. It's just going to be a really good hot day barbecue. Looking forward to it. And I've got some sandwiches left from last night, which I can have for supper. And then we're going to go down and get fish and chips for tea. And then for like a late supper, there's a pizza place up there. So we're going to get a pizza. So yeah, let's get this covered over. Turn the heat down a bit. Jobs are good and beautiful. Lowest heat. Take your time, no rush. Big pile of salad is stuff for Mazza. Yeah, but I want to do grated carrot and I want some uh, organic tomatoes on there as well. Yeah, they look quite nice. Mm. Do you want some? No, don't like tomatoes. It all looks very nice. Yeah, you know, I'm willing to try a little bit of stuff. So I'm going to have some potato salad. It's basically yeah, the same new... as that, but with potatoes in it, and it's all in one. Oh no, I've got new potatoes cooked. Yeah, but I've got a tub of potato salad. It cost me uh, 39 pence. Peppercorn sauce. Peppercorn sauce. Yep. Okay. You up for that? Well, we'll see, won't we? <sighs> Pizza for supper though, yeah? So things are getting a little bit silly. Now Mazzy knows that these are grown on trees and you don't just buy them in shops. Um, she's found four now and she wants to keep them all. We're gonna have a van full of these um, because of the trees up here. They are beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, and what we've been talking about is Tomorrow, what we're going to do, Mazzy wants to go swimming. So we're probably going to be sat around the pool for a couple of hours, where we won't be able to film, obviously, because it's not like 1980 anymore, and the world's gone mad. You're not allowed to film yourselves having fun around the pool anymore. Um, yeah, just... You know, we've got 14 days here. We're in no rush to do anything. Let's just chill, relax, and have fun. Forgot to tell you, Mazzy is going to be giving me an all-over tan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
on it depends how many likes up and thumbs up and stuff and comments so yeah yeah people have to give thumbs up and likes and comments dan's yeah? asking for one but i'm debatable because my tan is actually costing me a lot of money and there's a shortage on tan at the moment believe it or not so I, I, i'll be honest the last batch i bought cost me 300 quid apparently I, what what <laughs> exactly exactly because there's a shortage on tan there is a shortage on tan i've never there heard is. anything as ridiculous in my life we've got a natural tan up here well, <laughs> yeah. but if i'm going to wear shorts if i'm going to go like topless or at least undo a couple of buttons yeah uh, look at state of my color look at my color i've said i need to be at least an acceptable color to start with so we're going to give me an all over tan i don't mind being filmed um, as long as you don't show me bits. Thumbs up though and a comment. They have to comment and let us know if they want that. They might not even want to see that. I think there's a lot of men out there in my situation who are a bit too white who would happily go topless, wear shorts if they were already a little bit coloured. Well, let's, let's just take a look at your leg then. Come on, let's just go for it. <laughs> yeah, let's look at my leg. <laughs> Exactly, look at how white that is going. Look, look, it's embarrassing. Would you go out looking like that? Be honest. Exactly, speechless, absolutely speechless. So, we're going to definitely be doing these babies. You know, they're full of muscle and they're massive and great and airy and lovely. They're just too white. So we're going to be working on that, making me look really sexy and then we're going to get a surfboard and go down to Fiscal Beach, I think it's called and do like surfing and stuff, you know like proper men do but that won't be till next week and we have noticed a big problem with this microphone again um, we've given up on it we don't know if it's the actual microphone or it's the media mod which is like the case which the GoPro goes into there's a fault there somewhere and as you'll have noticed most of this video has sounded a bit weird um, so we're going to give up on it I'm going to put on a microphone which I bought I don't know six months ago and we're just going to have to go with that see if that works until we can actually afford to buy a new microphone like this and get it to an Amazon locker which will be a couple of weeks so bear with the sound please so I've been invited back into the love shack yeah I just want to show you uh, my new potatoes I put some parsley on them now about to add some lure pack congratulations they're gonna be nice You're not going to say anything, are you? Are you not going to tell them about the price of lure pack? <laughs> the price of lure pack is unbelievable, right? I saw it, £8 a tub. Eight Nine. Nine pound Nine. a tub. Nine pound for a tub of butter. What's going on in the world? You weren't going to mention it, were you? Nine no. pound for a tub of butter. Because I couldn't care if it was £100 and I will still pay for lure pack. I love lure pack. <laughs> if but anyone's no, got any tell. lure pack, right? For sale, she'll buy it off you for a hundred pounds. What a wallet! It is ridiculous. Though. Butter should be a quid, a quid. Um, if that, if yeah. in fact, I don't even like butter. Why are you putting butter on it? I don't like butter. Because you don't mind it melted. It's only when it's. Um... I don't mind it melted, but I still don't want it. It's disgusting. There you go. Look, parsley and uh, pack the uh, new potatoes. Nice. Nine quid. Nine quid. The butter costs <laughs> more than the potatoes, which are in, which it's it's sorting out. Are you gonna stop moaning? No, I'm not actually. No, Nine you're not. You're not. Nine quid for a tub of butter. That is disgusting. The only bowl in the house. The only bowl. Okay. What's your problem? Well, I went to go and get the only bowl in the house and uh, with his driving, you know the way he drives. Look at it, right? So we've got a massive chip out of there and all the bits are in there. 
So I've got no bowl. Yeah, you know why that is, don't you? Got one bowl. You know You're why driving. that? It's not my drive. I'll it tell is. you what happens. We're driving along, minding my own business, and this this drawer just crashes open and it makes a big smashing noise. Do it, do it a little bit harder so they can tell. Like that. It's a bit like that. Really big loud noise. So it's out here, right? And that's every time I turn uh, left. So do you know what he does? Uh, sorry, when I turn right. No, yeah, right. Well, wh whatever way it is. So, what I do... What he does, generally do, and this ain't no lie, he will turn the other way to get the, the, the drawer back in. I'll wait till we're turning left and I'll do a like a jolt with the wheel to make it smash back in. Right, well, we've got no bowl now. Yeah, well, that ain't my fault. That probably got That probably got like that when it came out in the first place, not when I made it go back in. I'm, I'm gonna drive next time. No, you're not. Um. No, you're not. Not sure what I make of it, Mazzy. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It says fruity mint rajita, and this is what goes on the kebab. But the kebab was extremely expensive, so I'm guessing it should be really nice. I've just put a bit on my finger. It tasted nice, but would I prefer your peppercorn sauce on it? Mmm, it's up to you. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm just going to risk it. Are you? I don't know if I'm meant to put it on, on the barbecue or after, but I'm going to... It tastes very coriander -y and maybe Indian. Mustardy. Indian-y, Indian is what I want to say. I'd say mustardy. Oh, can you flick my steak there, darling? So I'm going to throw it on there. I've got one more kebab left, so I can have the next one differently, can't I? Yeah, well, there's so much peppercorn sauce. Um. Yeah, I don't think you want that flipping, Mazzy. It's browner on the other side. Oh. I really do think, look, there's no colour getting to it. It needs more I heat. Turn it up. Yeah, mine's ready, you see. That's ready, that's ready. These need Better. browning a bit. Well, they're cooked, but they need browning. Let's start slapping it up, yeah? Slap it up. They're cooked, so we're just browning it now. So that's my tea. Potato salad, coleslaw, vegetables you see, my five a day, potatoes, um, dead, is that pig? Uh, lamb, what's lamb? Oh that's sheep, sheep. isn't it? Dead sheep on a kebab because it was National Kebab Day yesterday. Dead Sm cow and dead pig. <laughs> uh, cow and pig, yeah. yeah. Beautiful, that's peppered and them sausages look amazing. I'm really, really happy. Unfortunately, Maz's isn't quite ready. What's going on? I have to wait for it. <laughs> but I like mine black and crispy, so... Yeah. Okay, it looks like I've ruined it, but I haven't. It's a load of peppercorn sauce on there. <laughs> Very nice. So I've got steak, I've got new potatoes, salad, carrots, uh, Stilton cheese, coleslaw, and feta. All we can see is like mud. But I love peppercorn sauce. peppercorn sauce, so I'm happy. Thanks, babe. Enjoy, and you've got a sweet corn to come. Oh yeah, that's not cooked yet. Yeah, I'm well happy. Thanks, babe. Absolutely stuffed. That was amazing. Really nice. I wish I hadn't put the sauce on the kebab. I think Mazzy's uh, peppercorn sauce would have been better, but the meat was incredible. Yeah, we demolished it all, didn't we? We did. <laughs> uh, just a few super thanks to give before we go. A massive thank you to Nettie Munson. Thank you, Nettie. GC. Thank you, GC. She might come back before I finished. Susan Hodge. Thank you, Susan Hodge. Electric Yeti. Thank you, Electric Yeti! <laughs> witch Dog. Thank you, Witch Dog. <laughs> Paul Young. Thank you, oh, Paul. Thank you. Rhonda Walker. Thank you, Rhonda. And Kim Funston. Thank you Thank very, you. very, very, very much. Yeah, I right. appreciate that. That is the end of our day, um, yeah. as far as filming is concerned. It's nearly four o'clock. You want to watch this at half past five, so we have to get it up, get it edited, get it on and relax for the day and we will see you tomorrow bright and early yep. for another wonderful day on our holiday.
because we don't know where they are. We don't know where they are. See you all later. Bye. Bye.